It's the Godbuster here on Blasphemy Line with a new message every day, reminding you that blasphemy not only is a victimless crime, it's a subjectless crime as well. Today's message is entitled, Rutabaga Baby. Right to single-celled lifers don't just oppose abortion. As you know, they also oppose sex education for 20-year-olds on the grounds that learning about sex might give them ideas about how to keep from getting pregnant. Naturally, they want as many illegitimate babies as possible to be born, since there is a good chance that if such children survive, they will be sufficiently undereducated to join the kinds of churches that support the compulsory pregnancy movement. If the mandatory motherhood people oppose birth control and sex education, it goes without saying that they oppose amniocentesis, checking the amniotic fluid during a pregnancy to see if the fetus is defective. They fear that a woman, if she learns that she is carrying a cabbage, just might try to terminate the pregnancy. Unfortunately, the right to lifers don't have a very good song yet to underline the importance of giving birth to defective offspring. So we have tried to help them out by writing a song which they will certainly want to use to advance their cause. It's called Rutabaga Baby. Jesus loves this Rutabaga baby, Rutabaga baby of mine. He's got no arms and he's got no neck and he's got a taproot for a leg. Jesus saved this Rutabaga baby, Rutabaga baby of mine. To make folks have more respect for life Oh, when I put him on the sidewalk for to beg Jesus loves this rutabaga baby Rutabaga baby of mine He's got a soul somewhere near his knee And he's gonna go to heaven someday Jesus saved this Rutabaga baby, Rutabaga baby of mine. If he had a tongue and if he could talk, he would praise the Lord and he would learn to pray. Jesus loves this Rutabaga baby, Rutabaga baby of mine. Now Jerry Falwell and the Pope Say it's really wonderful, we let him stay. Jesus saved this Rutabaga baby, Rutabaga baby of mine. They've got him in a right fancy a box. And the hospital keeps asking who will pay. This song is hereby released from copyright into the public domain. It may be freely copied, reperformed, or rearranged, provided only that credit be given to Frank R. Zindler. <laughs>